In today's GibbsCAM Tech Tip, we're going to look at additions to the 5-axis module in GibbsCAM 2022. First, we'll look at improvements to the deburring strategy. These improvements allow for chamfers and rounds to be cut on edges even if the feature is not on the model. It is very easy and quick to create and adds even more versatility to this already powerful deburring strategy. Next, we will look at a new strategy in the 5-axis module, rotary machining. It is a new strategy to quickly rough and finish radial features. Using deburring, we'll side mill this edge even though the chamfer is not on the model. In part surfaces, I'll select the faces that represent the edge. We'll use auto detect. We're using the side of the tool, so I'll select constant width and set the chamfer size to 0 0.075 inch. Tool axis control will be full 5. Here, we'll select tool contact point and set it to 0.5. This means the tool will engage in the material halfway up the flutes. If you want the contact point to be closer to the tip of the tool, make this value smaller. OK, I'll process this operation. Let's run it in simulation. That looks good. That was a quick way to side mill in a chamfer. On this edge, we'll cut a fillet radius. We'll use the same tool. Here, we'll select the new part surfaces using this saved feature. I'll go to tool axis control and deselect the fixed tool contact point so that we're not side milling. Here we'll do it in 20 passes, rounded, and constant radius. We'll cut a 0.1 inch radius. Okay, do it. Let's run the simulation. Here it is going around the part 20 times to cut the fillet. Look at that. That was a quick way to create an effective 5-axis toolpath. Here's a new strategy in the 5-axis module, rotary machining. Here we'll rough the radial pocket. I'll use a quarter inch end mill, roughing, a constant radius, and offset and spiral. We'll allow the tool to offset in Y by its radius. Cutting method, one way. Direction one for climb milling. There are different depth options. We'll select constant depth and a cut depth of 0 0.05 inch. Here in advanced, you'll notice the same options that are in all five axis strategies. For part definition, I'll select the entire part. Here's where you leave material for finishing. Axis of rotation is along the X axis. I'll select the entire stock model. Do it. Okay, let's look at simulation. Here it is helixing to depth and we'll cut the pocket in 50,000 Z steps. Thanks for looking at this GibbsCam tech tip. We looked at new ways in the 5-axis deburring strategy to side mill a chamfer and we added a fillet radius to an edge. Also, we just looked at a quick way to rough a radial pocket using rotary machining. If you have any questions about what you just saw, please reach out to your Gibbscam reseller.